everybody, it's Stephanie. I'm back. It's been five months, um, but I am back with a vlog update for my wellness journey. For the delay I have been a little bit busy you know making planners stuff like that and today though I wanted to do something a little bit different last time I kind of walked you through my journey showed you a little bit of my wellness planner but I already did that and you can check that out I'll put the link down below we call it a plan and share now so it's where I flip through my wellness planner how I track things and I kind of give you a little bit of an idea about the journey that I've been on and the struggles that I've had and where I have succeeded and maybe even some tips but um, so you can check that out down below but today what I want to do is I want to give you the tools I want to give you some options for you to start right now. So, and I'll tell you how, what I do and how I track my wellness planner. So what we're talking about basically is um, how I track it. And it's become, it's become like my bestie. Um, mine is a total Franken planned planner and I love it. And I can, if you wanna check out obviously the plan and shares, I'll show you, it'll show you how, what works for me. But, um, before I get started, I want to, first of all, I'll just give you a quick update. So I'm about, um, what, nine and a half months into the year into my quote unquote wellness journey. And the reason I call it that is because I'm not looking to lose a certain amount of weight or there's no destination for me to get to, to say like, oh my God, I did this. I am looking at this as a journey. It is something I want to have in my life forever. I want to be healthy and well, and I want to use my planner to track that, but I want to create these new habits that will stay with me forever. So it's a journey. There's no destination of like, now I'm healthy, but I definitely feel healthier. But when you put it down into like, what is this looking like for me? Um, so last year at the end of the year, I set a goal to lose 60 pounds. That's what was going to put me into the healthy weight zone. And so that's what I thought I needed to do this year. And you guys, so much stuff has changed. And even though I'm still on a journey to lose weight, because that is what will be healthier for my body, what has transpired this year and what I've been able to accomplish by tracking and journaling this journey in this baby has been life-changing for me and made me realize that yes it's about the weight but it's also about my state of mind it's about learning that um, i'm an emotional eater and how to handle my emotions and my state of mind so oh my gosh so i am 25 pounds down from where i was last year in fact um my family went to hawaii for thanksgiving last year and we're going to do that again my mom gave that to us as a christmas present for the family so we're going to do that again this year and that is where my friends i saw a picture of me in a bathing suit that was like you're unhealthy girl not like body shaming um because you if you follow me on instagram you saw that i posted a picture of me in the two-piece bathing suit for the first time like ever um so i'm very proud of the what i've accomplished and i'm definitely not body shaming myself but i was out of shape unhealthy and sometimes you just see it in pictures right so this year again i'm so excited to be going back to hawaii with my family feeling happier and healthier and I want to take you guys along on the journey with me too. I've got some ideas, but I won't share those yet. So 25 pounds down. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Um, I not to like say, oh my God, I look so much better, but I can see it again. I posted on Instagram, this picture, this video actually of me at the beginning of the year working out for one of the very first times in a long, long time. And, um, oh, you guys, I was struggling. It was a challenge. You could tell I was trying to keep my mindset 
like happy, positive, and that's how it got me through. But today, it's a whole different story. Today, I look forward to getting out and moving my body. And I think when I look at myself, I'm looking at myself right now, um, when I see myself on camera, I see the person that I feel like inside, like the real person. So, okay, so that's kind of where I am today. I've got, what, two and a half months, not quite left of the end of the year. And so I'm finishing out strong, finishing strong, and I hope you are too. Okay, so this is what I use, and it's getting pretty thick. This is my wellness planner. I check everything, so go check out those planning shares if you haven't already, or the earlier vlog checkups. But um, I want to show you a way that you, if a lot of people want to know, like, what did I do? How do I use it? What exactly do I do? And how do I track that? And I will share that with you. And I do, but I want you to know that you don't have to have exactly this setup. This setup might not even work for you. You might not be on a wellness journey. Today, we're going to talk about that wellness, which to me is whole body, whole person wellness. So you're looking at everything from um, spiritual, physical, um, your emotional state, what's your career, what is your social, what are your relationships, etc. So um, for me, I track all of that, everything that seems to be going on in my life right now in my wellness planner. So what can you do? What can you guys do right now? So let me show you what I use. I use this, which is the wellness extension pack. And this is like six months of, and I'll put all the links below, but this is the wellness extension pack. And um, you've got six months of prompted, actually there's prompted things at the bottom that show you where to, you can journal, like how are you feeling? What are you thankful for? There's some pages at the beginning. Um, of every month that help you set goals and kind of get in touch with your feelings and your your state of mind, I guess, and what you're doing and what those actions are. So I use this one and um, it's six months. So I just used two of them and that's what I, that's what I use. Now the battery's running low. Oh my God, we're gonna have to charge the battery. What kind of an amateur goes to record a vlog and doesn't charge the battery. Uh, the same one that left her tripod at work. So we're going to have to do this all over again. That makes my face all red. Okay, I am back. The battery is charged. And um, where I left off was showing you yikes, that I use this planner. I use two of them and or this extension pack, I use two of them. I put it on discs and I um, put a cover on it. But you don't have to use that if you don't want to. So if you want to um, start your wellness journey and whatever that means to you, um, start in anything. So let me show you. This is an actual wellness planner. You can see it says, choose where your energy goes. It's big, but um, we have those on our shop, available on our shop. I think they also carry these at Michael's. So you can actually like have, you don't have to like really make yours um, from an extension pack. You can choose an actual wellness planner. We also have right now, these are a 12 month, it's called Healthy Hero. It's kind of a hybrid of fitness, regular planner and wellness. So that's an option. Uh, we have 12 month, fitness undated so you can start at any time so and you can adjust this and make all kinds of um changes to what you want how you want to um record your journey but this is a little more fitness oriented and then there's also a little tiny one a little mini um fitness so those are both undated um, you can also use a notebook. You can use your existing um, planner. Maybe you have an outdated planner that you got maybe on sale. You can redate it. You can start with that. You could, I'm, a lot of you planner babes have a lot of planners. Dedicate one to a wellness journey and just start. Maybe the biggest thing that I've learned on this whole journey so far has been do something right now. Set a goal right now. I set my goal in December 
to lose 60 pounds, to lower my cholesterol, to do all these different things. And um, that wasn't the perfect goal, I don't think now, because losing 60 pounds in a year was probably a little too ambitious for me. Um, but I said, I'm going to set that goal. And I went along the way and I did the things that I needed to do to get healthier. And along the way, I learned um, about myself and what I need and what I need to change. And you guys, like, I'm going to put it in there, but this planner has really helped me do that. Um, and I think it's the reflection of what our activities and what our actions mean. You know, your actions have consequences, good or bad. You've got to take accountability for the things that you want in your life and you've got to do something about it. So, um, don't wait for the perfect planner. Don't wait for the perfect I've thought this all the way through and I know exactly how to do this. Educate yourself along the way. One of the things, as I started journaling, you can see in my plan and share that one of the things I started noticing was that I, I was an emotional eater. I kind of always knew that, but I started to realize that I was an emotional eater. And so when I would journal at the end of my day and I would say, I had so many emotions right now. I'm feeling very vulnerable or I feel like I'm going to explode, but I don't know what to do. Nine times out of 10, I saw that I was eating or drinking or doing nothing. I did nothing healthy. So when I didn't have a control of my emotions, I acted out in a way that was not healthy for me. Um, and I've always known that, but for some reason, you guys, like finding it and seeing it over and over and over again as a pattern that I did in this planner changed the way I acted because I started to really get it. You know, um, I shared that once I, um, this is called the emotional eating workbook. And once I realized that I was an emotional eater, um, I, <laughs> I bought several books. Um, this has been my favorite. I haven't read them all, but this was definitely my favorite. It was a way for me to um, you read a little bit and then they ask you and they challenge you. It's a workbook. So I under started to understand why I eat, why I have a hard time um, processing some of my emotions. I'm a very open book, but when it came to anger um, or when it came to like feeling like I was being judged, I just didn't know how to deal with those emotions. And so I ate or drank or just sat around and just did things that felt like I thought were supposed to be comforting to me. So, um, this is by Carolyn Coker Ross in case I have a lot of people asking me. Um, I felt I really wanted to put it on discs, but I, um, I held back from that cause I have some things to do. So that's not on the top of my list. Um, so anyway, that is what, um, I've been doing. I have been walking a lot. I've been really changing the way that I eat, um, and eliminating. I'm not going to actually, I, I don't really like when people ask, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not doing any diet. I'm not doing a way of eating. What I've done is I have, um, decided to eat more whole foods closer to how they were grown, um, eliminate processed foods as much as possible. Um, and I really have limited or eliminated grain and sugar from my diet. Um, and because of a lot of things that I've dealt with, with my digestion and a lot of inflammation that I have, I've worked with a team of medical professionals that I'm working with to make sure that what I'm doing is okay for my body. So I don't claim to know what works for you and, and everything. And people seem to have an opinion about what I'm doing and it's working really good for me. So that is something that I'm doing and, um, love my walks. I share my walking wisdom. Um, uh, when I go out on my walks, try and do it daily. I try and move my body daily and it just feels better. So we've got just a little over two months now left in the year. And I want you to be able to take this time and I've challenged people on Instagram, take this time to end the year strong. I got that um, message really strong from Rachel Hollis. If you haven't checked her out, go check her out. She's extremely inspirational, but she has a thing called hashtag last 90 days where you start or you finish the last 90 days as strongly as you started the first 90. And, um, 
I love that because I was, you know, everyone's gung ho on January 1st or on Monday or on the beginning of the month. But what about that last? Let's finish out this year together just by either starting or continuing on our journey so that at the end of the year, we're not feeling like crap and going like, oh, well, January 1st is when I'm, I'm going to turn this stuff around. But like, let's go through this holiday, this beautiful, fun and festive season by taking care of ourselves and feeling good. So um, anyway, that is pretty much my wellness update. And I think I'm going to do something I mentioned earlier, fun throughout the holidays. And um, but stay tuned because I have yet to figure out all the details. Um, so I think that's that's pretty much it. I hope that you found some inspiration. I encourage you to go check out my plan and shares, all three of them, if you haven't already, so you can see actually inside of my planner um, how I track my wellness journey. And because this is a real planner, this is my real planner and my real life, and it has made a difference. So um, I encourage you to go check those out and my other vlogs. I'll put some links down below. I'll put some links to some product. And until next time, you guys, you know how it goes. Remember to live creatively and plan a happy life. Peace.